it amazes me. You guys must be able to see, well, first of all, good afternoon. Second of all, I'm just now seeing the preview that goes on before I go live. And um, all of a sudden, it's like you guys get to see so much more that I don't even have a clue that you're seeing. Hi, Kim. I'm good. What I'm working on today is my purple quilt that I put together with you guys a couple weeks ago. I'm going to work on getting that um, taken care of and get it put together as much as I can. So I'm excited about that. And I'm going to just show you briefly how I go about pinning when I've got, um, when I'm putting together strips because I do pin them. I'm not one to kind of go by the seat of my pants most often. I do like to pin them because I think it makes a big difference. Hi, JJ. Hi, Cindy. Um, I've got a, we did get the, um, oh, I got to think here. I did get the swapping done yesterday. Karen came up and helped me do it. So the swapping is all done. There were a couple of you that I ended up with all of these extra blocks. And I don't know why. I still can't figure it out. Um, I emailed those people who there were extra blocks from to let me know what I'm supposed to do with them. And um, then that's it. But I wanted you guys to know that I had extra blocks from you. The other thing, because there's more that I wanted to tell you, I'm going to do this a little bit, because um, I'm kind of waiting for other people to get on, and then I'll really start talking. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Brenda. Slowing down Joe. Good morning, everyone. Ooh, from Oregon. Holy cow. Hi, Fleur. Oh, thank you. I love my tie-dye, too. And I made it, which makes it even really better. I just love it. Hello, everybody. Hi, Mary. Thank you. Um, It's tie-dyed. I didn't make the shirt. The shirt, I think, is an Old Navy shirt. I'm not sure. And um, I just tie-dyed it. Hi, Linda. So, um... I decided I had to had to wear it. So I washed all of my tie-dyed fabric this morning and then wore this one today. It's cool here in New York. I mean, really cool. It's not... Hi, Bernadette. When you guys... Hi, Nicole from Canada. You guys, when you go through your swap locks... One of our members is putting, oh, I'm going to show you guys. Um, she is putting little notes on some of the blocks. And I've got two of them here. And I want to show you. So here's the first one. And it says, do good and God will come to you. Look, isn't that the neatest? Thank you, Mary. And then here's another one. She said, blessed with my heart tribe. Isn't that cool? Hi, Christine from Liverpool. But she's got some, not every single one, but she's got little notes on them. Here's another one. It says, life is tough, so are you. And I just thought these were so cool. Did Diane get her new sewing machine? I hope she did. Is it hot in Arizona? Yeah. Well, it's kind of that time of year, guys. You know? I know, JJ. I love these, too. So I wanted you guys to see those while I worked on this. So the first thing that I do, Brenda is creative. She's unbelievable. See how I got a safety pin? At least I think you can see the safety pin. 
that's my upper left corner block so that I always know that's where I start. And then I can grab my next block and just attach it on. So I'm going to go back to pinning this up and getting it ready to sew so that everybody can see it. Hi, Faith. And then I just take my two seams. I press them all in towards the um, printed fabric, the colored fabric. And then that way, because I'm going every other row, then I can just easily nestle my seams together. Oh, Kim, they are just as sweet as could be. She's got a bunch of different ones. They are just as sweet as sweet could be, which I just love. So um, this week, I'm, I have been working away at a bunch of different stuff. Um, there was a chance that last week on Monday that we were, um, hi Gail, Susie, I haven't, I'd love to see the article. If you could email me a link to it. So, um, last Monday there was a chance that we got exposed to the coronavirus as it stands right now. Um, all five of the people were tested and they all five came back negative. So I really think that we're okay. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. Oh, Cindy, you noticed it. I was wondering if somebody was going to notice it. What is on the chair behind me? That's one of my designs. And it actually is going to be premiered in, I gotta think, October. It's all quilt, it's all done. It just needs to get quilted. Um, the pattern has been sent off to be written. And um, I've gotten the first draft. Gail did the first draft up for me. And um, next, I just have to add the graphics to it. And it's gonna come out in October. And I'm really excited about it. So what we will do is, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch a, a really cool line of fabric. It's not mine, but a line of fabric. And I'm going to be making this quilt. And I'll debut it in um, October along with I'm starting a, another page on my website that's going to be an extremely special page. I have not um, finished up all of the plans behind it. Okay, Susie, I'll see if I can find it. I'll see. So I'm going to try to um, get more information for you guys by the time I get back from Kentucky, as long as I still can. Well, Fleur, I, you may, you'll see sneaks and peeks of it before then, but this is the, um, this is my test one that I made. I will show it to you because I can't help but show it to you. Um, this is the test one that I made and it is extremely scrappy. So here it is. I'll, I, I made a little bit bigger size for a reason, but this is the quilt, and it's really, really scrappy, and it's made out of a layer cake, and there is no waste to it. So you use the entire layer cake, which to me is always the most fun. I love it. It's just, um, when Gail wrote the pattern for me, she did a couple of test blocks, and she messaged me and just said, that thing went together so fast, and it is. It's just like really, really, really fast. So I'm really excited. Oh, cool, we got a new quilter. Yay, that's neat. It really, Carrie and Diane, is cool. And it is a fast quilt. It's like another one of my layer cake gloves. 
but this one's even more scrappy. So the busier the fabric, it's really pretty. It is, I really am pleased with it. In fact, this is what I did. I um, ran away with my sisters and some friends for a couple of days, and this is what I worked on. And I'm just tickled pink with how it came out. I could not have asked for a neater quilt. So it was a lot of fun to make, and it was easy. I made, well, let's back up. I designed, cut, made all of the blocks and almost all of the strips all in two days. And then I just had like three more um, three more rows to put together. It was perfect. Oh, good, Brenda. I'm glad you have layer cakes because that's what you need. If you do one layer cake, you end up with a throw size quilt. If you do two layer cakes, you end up with a little bit bigger than a twin. Oh, enjoy your sun, Sue. Um, I do I have the sizes in front of me, Gail? I don't think I let me double check and see if I do. Um, let me see if I can find them. Yeah, it just stays, it's just the scrappiest, funnest, easiest quilt to do. Um, I'm looking for, there it is. It's called Gathering Hills. No, they aren't five by fives. It's really, it's, it's really different. It's just totally um, not what I was expecting for it to come out. I had one design in mind and ended up with something totally different. Um, I'm opening the pattern itself to find out how big. The, it either makes a throw size that is 51 by 59 or a double size, which is 76 square. So that's what it makes. I did a, it's all right, I've got it, I found it, dear. I um. I did it with two layer cakes only because I had a purpose for the quilt itself. So that's why I made it the size that I did. But the name of the quilt is Gathering Hills. And um, that's what we do. So... Well, Christine, a lot of people think a layer cake is something you eat. You know, it's just us quilters. We all know what it really is. Yeah. So, yeah, and a layer cake is 10 by 10 squares. And I believe that when I did the two layer cakes, I had maybe two blocks left over. Gail did make really cute placemats with her test blocks. It's adorable. So I'm pretty excited about getting that out for you. And what I'm going to be doing in October when I show you that and we learn how to do that one, I'm going to be showing you um, some fabric from a brand new designer from Moda, which I'm really excited about this new designer. So... Um, that'll come, that'll come, I think that'll happen probably, that'll happen in October. As soon as I, as soon as I can announce it, I will. So, I'm pretty excited about that one. That was, that was the thing that got me really excited was I fell in love with the fabric. And it's, it's not my typical fabric, but I still loved it. You do, JJ. You've got to teach the beginners the jargon because otherwise they have no clue what we're talking about. It, my poor husband, he thought I was crazy at first. Poor guy. But So that's what's going on here. I'm just, I'm hoping to get my purple quilt done today. And I finally decided on a layout for my men's shirt quilt. I got the layout all designed up. I got it in my head and on paper, so now I'm really excited because I can, like, push that one right out the door, get that one done, which is an excellent thing to do. So hopefully I will have that one done um, in a week or two. Hi, Deb. 
I wondered how California is. Arizona and Texas, I hear, are hot. I got to keep drinking water, guys, because my husband said he was so disappointed when he learned what I wanted when I said I was shopping for jelly rolls and layer cakes. <laughs> yeah, well, I think what we have to do is stop at a bakery on our way home from now on. And that'll help them. Then they'll get a little bit less discouraged, maybe. Right? Let us let us do a couple more layer cakes or jelly rolls and that kind of stuff. So I am starting to get really excited about the summer. I know it's just getting started. They got um, an update on my daughter's building. They got all of the land cleared. And um, they came in and, and did all of the tree stumps and that stuff. So consequently, they, they are now ready for the builder. So we're hoping that they're going to break ground and start building in a couple of weeks. That's what the hope is. But the kids, my kids sat this morning designing their kitchen, which was fun. You know, it's kind of fun to watch them them learning how to do this for the first time. Big city went nuts out here in the country. It's still pretty level. Yes, the big cities really exploded last week. And, it, you know, that's starting to get scared. We have, um, we have grown in positive cases of corona, but it's not, um, it's not as bad as what it was for New York. New York has really stayed pretty buckled down. Uh, we, yeah, we're all doing that. We're all getting our fabric by mail now. Uh, uh, let's see, but let's see, Vicki. Hi, Vicki. <laughs> Back to those masks, Vicky. Holy cow. Don't forget that this month we're doing the catch up. So this month you're going to get two bags of your half square triangles, okay? And remember when you go to make your half square triangles, you can you cut them on the solid line and then you can either mix them up or you can make your quarter square triangles out of the same fabric. And I've heard from a bunch of different people that are doing all different things. Yeah, Arizona has it and you're showing it now. Yeah, uh, yeah. So make sure you take a look at it and decide what you want to do. Oh, JJ, that's wonderful. What state are you in? Because we're opened up again, but we're still pretty, um, we're still pretty restricted. Oh, wow, okay. See, I have been to the grocery store and that's it. I haven't gone any place still. I'm, I'm, I'm like this chicken. Wendy, we've got people here that are doing that. There's a couple of shops open, and you ca call ahead and you schedule a half hour or an hour appointment, and then you can go in. Okay, so you're in Central Texas, yep. Hi, Kayak. Hope you're feeling better. Yeah, check with your other local shops and find out if they're opening. But I have heard that some of them are definitely scheduling appointments so that they can keep the numbers down in the shop so that everybody stays safe, which I don't see anything wrong with that. The last thing we need to do is come up with another outbreak of this. Yeah, um... 
Most of my family members live outside of Seattle area, and it's still pretty rampant up there. Okay, I wondered, Vicki. Yeah, Kay, I just go to the grocery store. I just don't need, um, I just worry about it. Yeah, that's a good idea, Kay. That's, or Gail, that's what we've done. Like, I get to see my best friend still, but what we do is we sit outside and we have dinner together. And, you know, it, it, we're out in the air. We're a little bit of a distance apart. And then we're just really careful about washing our hands and stuff. Um, yep, Carrie, me too. I wear my mask and I just try really hard to, to stay back and to stay out of people's way. Because I think that's the best thing around. I know, Diane, I thought of that, too. Oh, that's a good idea, Christine. I've never heard of that. Um, let's see. Yeah, Kim, I, I have to go to the post office during the day hours, but I try to go, you know, at a really not busy time local quilt shop went out of business I'm sorry MW that's sad I worry about that oh boy Kay please get better okay ooh Georgia spiking 2,000 new cases last Friday alone that's a lot. I know, Roberta, isn't it wonderful when you finally get to see somebody that you haven't been able to see in a long time? Yeah, I don't go to any of them. The only thing that I do with Walmart is maybe a grocery pickup. Yeah, I, I just, I try not to go anyplace. It's in a hot mask. Yep. Yeah. So, consequently, that's what I have been doing. I just, I just want to stay as healthy as I possibly can for as long as I can. I, I'm, I'm waiting to hear if I'm safe to go to Kentucky next week. I'm hoping I can because, um, because I miss the kids. Um, uh, I've heard that quite a few of the states are spiking. I truly have. It's been a lot of them. That's, but I think so far New York is pretty, pretty good. Which, if you remember back in the beginning, New York was, like, horrible. But I think we're doing pretty good. So, I'm, like I said, I'm still hoping I'm going to be able to go to Kentucky. I'm, I will be sending out the swap stuff on Wednesday. I don't blame you, Diane. I'd hug the stuffing out of them, too. So, I'm going to... Um, hopefully be able to go. I'll send everything out on Wednesday to you guys so that um, you will have all of your um, swap blocks so you can start working on them. Me too, Kay. I hope it does. I feel quite... Quite a bit. Oh, good, Vicky. Well, get down to that quilting room. Oh.
They say Houston will be the next New York. Yuck. That's not good. I We're still wondering um, what's going to happen with school. New, the state of New York hasn't said yet. So we're still waiting for that. Yeah, I, I miss quilt shops too. But I guess at this stage I'd rather be healthy and safe than risk it. So I'm going to... I'm going to stay in. It, well, stay away, I guess. Because I do go outside, and I think it's safe to go outside. Just, you know, you got to keep your distance and be smart and wash your hands a lot and all that stuff. So, yeah. Vicki, you do need to take it easy and try not to sew so much. Just sew a little bit so that you get to be happy. So I wanted you guys to see how I'm pinning. Hopefully you can. This is a seam where I'm going to, the, the fold is on my bottom side. And so what happens is I'm pinning it before I get to that seam so that it will hopefully keep all of that together. And then if I've got a seam that just isn't behaving, I'll pin on both sides. And that will help steady it too. Just had tied my first quilt. Aww. That's wonderful, Christine. Make sure you go out and join our Facebook group and you leave us pictures of your quilt. We would love to see it. We truly would. Go out to uh, Margaret Lewin Quilting and that's where you can see it. And um, just ask to join the group and we'll put you in there. Quilting for the soul, where did you just move to? Aww. Uh, uh. Wow. Yeah, everything as far as shipping's concerned has been really, really backed up. Just horribly backed up. And that's getting frustrating at times. Um, and we, you know, we're so used to being able to order it from Amazon and have it in 48 hours. So, you know, that's, that's, not always fun. Your husband loves the quilt shop and the people too? Southern Mississippi. Okay, so you're down in the heat. Wow, that would be nice if the quilt shop could expand. It's right now it's tough to get to into quilt shops, guys, but they will open back up. It's just a matter of time. And then once they open back up, we'll all be so excited to be able to go in and pet that fabric. I know I can't wait. Where'd my pins go? So what has everybody else been working on? I know what I've been doing. I wondered what everybody else was up to. Oh, Carolyn, I'm sorry. I hope he gets better soon. And I hope nobody else gets it. It's 
so that's really I keep thinking like there's more stuff going on but I think that's all I can tell you right now yeah it is Groundhog's Day again yeah patience Mary isn't my best virtue either Oh, it would be wonderful to be able to go to a quilt shop. I have a couple close to me, but honestly, I haven't gotten to them in a while because, well, since before March, because I don't want to take a chance. I guess at this point, I'd rather just be safe. You know, as much as I'd love to be able to go shopping, I think I just would like to go be safe. Um... I'm designing a quilt pattern to finish up on the long arm and designing a quilt for my neighbor with a marine logo. Oh, cool. Oh, you'll love Annie's wide open bag. That's a great idea for graduation presents. That is a fantastic idea. Our school actually did get to do graduation. They um, were able to do it so that they maintained the six feet and they also wore masks and they did, and parents were able to see their kids grad, get their diplomas. It just took a little bit of extra, oh, am I sewing without a bobbin? No, I got my bobbin. Okay. It just took a little bit more time. I think it lasted like three hours. Um, I, yeah, she can show the placemats. That's fine. Oh, Diane, you're a sweetheart. Um... Oh, good. That's excellent, Kay. Oh, you made some of your clothes. Fantastic. Congratulations. Oh, no. You had bees in the ceiling, Lee? Yuck. Oh, I hope they're gone. Hi, Vanessa. Oh, good, Vanessa. Let us know how you're doing, okay? Fantastic. JJ, that's excellent. That is really excellent. I'm going to be starting to teach this fall at a local um, shop, and I'm pretty excited about that. I think it'll be a great time and a great class. Hi, Tiff. So I'm, I'm getting pretty excited about it. So that's what I'm doing. Fall Usually summer classes don't draw a lot of people. So I'm hoping the fall classes will. I won't start till probably September. And then um, that'll bring on its own people, I think. Oh, Kay, you're wonderful. So as you guys can see, one of the tricks that I do when I stitch, because my Bernina 790 Plus does an automatic lock stitch when I start, 
when I finish my quilt, I try to always remember to do a little bit of a back stitch. I just think it helps keep it all together until I'm ready to um till I'm ready to to get it on the long arm and get it quilted. Plus it helps when I'm pre pressing on it so that it always does what I want it to do instead of taking off on its own. Make you fly to New York. Come fly to New York, dear. One of these days I'm going to shock the daylights out of you, Brenda, and stop on my way to Kentucky. Yeah. All right, I got to grab my next row. Oh, look, guys, I'm doing good. I'm getting there. I'm doing good. Maybe I'll get this actually done today. That would be wonderful. Ooh, that's scary. I hope you have an EpiPen. Conserve that energy. Yeah, it's windy here too, but it, it's the sun is out, which is just wonderful. You know, we always love the sun. Whenever we can get a little bit of extra sunshine, it always makes us feel better. So, let's see. Um, what am I up to? I've got two, four, five. So, I've got two, four, six, eight more to go. Okay. I may not get it all done during the live today. Any questions in regards to the swap that we're doing right now? I've had a couple people that have wanted to join in. And um, we know that's not, we know that we just do it once a year. Brenda's been showing off some beautiful quilts. They're beautiful. What color was the one, Mary, that you saw? Oh, I know, Vanessa. But you know what? You can type all of us. Just type messages to us. But I'm blaming not looking forward to that. You could always have ice cream. That would be good. Right? What size are your blocks you're sewing, Margaret? These are five inch squares. I bought a couple of charm packs and I just put it together. So I, this was one of those ones that I just really liked the fabric and one day I needed something to do. So I started it and, and then I saw it tucked away in a drawer and I thought, this is ridiculous. I need to get that done. So I pulled it out and we put it together here on the live into strips. And I thought, okay, I'm going to put the rows together and then we'll be done with it, which I'm glad that I have done it now. Bye, Vicki. Have a great day, okay? Take care. Oh, you are working on Friendship Chain? Good for you. Oh, I'm glad. I can't wait to see that one done. I can't wait to start going through my, my blocks and looking at those. Oh, Julie, I get that. I don't blame you. It, you know, it'd be nice if you could just be able to see every single one at home and not have to go someplace. I I don't think this would, right now, I'd want to be going many places. But I wouldn't.
be enjoying washing dishes by hand either. So it's kind of a tough decision as to what you're going to do, isn't it? Yeah. Um, hi, Karen. You laid one what out, Karen? Um, basic quotes on freezer paper transfers. She was okay. I'm gonna look for it. Karen, who I just see on, she's probably been there, but I just noticed her. She said, um, I laid one out and liked it with a pinwheel pattern. What did you lay out, dear? I've been looking at the Dresden, trying to figure out how we could maybe do that one. I really like that. Yes, I have, Vanessa. And, and it's just as easy as can be. The only thing is, is that I will warn you that you've got a lot of layers there, so it could really be very, very, um, very, very heavy, okay? In your Christmas wreath, what block size did you use? Which Christmas wreath are you talking about? Because I've got a couple different ones, Kathy. Um, JJ, have a good week. I, I'm not sure which one you mean, dear. I'd have to look it up. Let me know which one you're asking about, and I'll let you know the size of the blocks. Are you, is it my wreath or my tree? Because I also have a Christmas tree pattern that has little um, packages underneath it. I take mine once a year, Mary, because of the amount that I sew on it. I take mine in once a year. And, you know, he just goes through it, tones it up, cleans it out really, really good for me. And it, to me, it's worth it. The wire one you did your video on. Oh, I used um, two and a half inch strips, and I think they were... Um, I think they were four inches long is what I did them. They weren't very long, but you can do one and a half or two and a half inch strips. Hi, Kim. You can do either or. And then a lot of it depends upon how tight you want to do it. And what you do is you do a couple of... Um, you do two loops, two wires at a time. So they're kind of stacked like this, all right? And then that way you get the real fullness of it. Not a problem, Mary. I always do suggest, at least once a year, get it in there. I don't think it's really necessary for more than that, but I think once a year is a great time frame. Um, okay, everybody's saying hi, Kim, which is good. So then I can keep sewing for a few more minutes. Okay. I keep watching messages to see if there's something there that I'm supposed to be catching. And if I don't, that's fine, but I got to see. Ooh, churn dash. Wow. 
Um, I'm not sure how big it's going to be when I'm done because I just kind of Nancy threw it together. Um, they're five inch blocks. So, you know, it'll be... I'm not sure. I'll let you know next week. Because I just, just not 100% certain how big it's going to be. I mean, it'll be plenty big enough, but I don't know how big. I think it's made with four packs of charm packs, I think is what it is. I think that's what I did it with. And I used as many of them as I could get in there. Oh, Kim, who I love my Bernina. I I truly do. Mom's doing okay. In fact, um, when I got on the live today, I had been on the phone with her, and her AFib was acting up again last night. So, um, actually, when I get done with the live, I'm going to go over and spend the night with her tonight because she just she's not feeling wonderful today. So I'll go inside and put some dinner together and take it over to her and um, spend the night with her so that she's got somebody there with her so she's not all alone. Which will, you know, you always feel better when you've got somebody in the house with you versus being alone. So I'm going to go over and do that. Oh, I'm getting excited. Look. Getting very excited about this. I don't know. I won't get it done today, but I w should be almost at the halfway point, which I think will be good. As I watch messages pop across. Now you're getting to see more of the swap quilt. Next week, I won't have anything on there. Stratton, Colorado. I've never been there. Yeah, me too, Lee. I, I truly am. I was getting ready to come on live, and I was really concerned about her because she didn't sound the greatest. So I called my sister Sue quick like, and he asked her to get a hold of mom and find out what's going on. So, um, a friendship quilt to do for two friends. Are you going to do it with them or just for them? As we did a, a swap quilt that, that was called friendship quilt in the group, but we swapped it. Did you want a big quilt, Christine, or a small quilt? What were you looking for? Wall hanging? Yeah. Um, thank you, Kay. She might very well be on here and just not talking. He can't feel it. Well, Vanessa, my my mother, I'm certain wishes she couldn't feel it. She she doesn't enjoy it at all. It's not something that she really likes to have happen. Lap size quilt. Um, did you want it to be able to do it fast, or do you want to be able do you want one that's going to take you a lot of time? Thank you, Kathy. Um, Ooh, we've got another one in Topeka that's an ambassador. Um, let's see. They have shocked my husband's heart. The doc put him on 
and so far he has been doing pretty good. No AFib. Oh, that's excellent. That is excellent news. Oh, you did get Robin Pickens' new line? <gasps> oh. oh, that's cool. That's a very pretty line. You'll like it. I love Robin Pickens' fabric. That's what we did the um, springtime sampler out of. And it, I just think it was beautiful. Okay, I, you want to put time and love into it. Um, thank you, Kay. She will. It just, you know, it's tough living alone. Um, I don't, Mary, have a door open. But I that back window might be open a little bit. And there's probably birds out there. Oh, no, the sunflowers isn't out yet. That one won't be out until October, dear. The sunflowers releases in October by Robin Pickens. And hold off on buying it because of something else. Sarah Star? No, Sarah Star wasn't Robin Pickens. Sarah Star was... Unless you did it in Robin Pickens, Sarah Star was all Moda Grunge. It was three or four Moda Grunges. That's that's what they. It was one, two, three, four. Because I'm looking at it. It's over there on the wall. Um. Oh, thank you, Kathy. Yeah, if you guys like the lives, you got to do a thumbs up for me. Um, Kev Mirth is actually Mary. That's her, that's her real name. Missouri Star has a double friendship quilt tutorial. There's an idea. I'm trying to think, um, Adida Sitar has some gorgeous quilts that can be done lap size that would be oh well Sarah Star is kind of big though because didn't she say she wanted a lap size but you could stop it early so that you could get a lap size out of it yeah they've talked about shocking my mom but she doesn't want to. Oh, well, Mary, hang on, because it will be coming out in October. And I am going to probably have something really special to go with it. So don't go buying it. Hang on. Because I'm hoping to be able to do something really, really special to go with it. Because I do like that line, too. I think it's a beautiful line. Oh, okay. Um, um, you could do Sarah Star. Sarah Star is a nice one. And what you just would do is stop it before at whatever size you want to. Because it gets, it goes from a center block and you just get, yep, you're right, Brenda. Just don't do all the rounds. Oh. Ah. Wow. Yeah, mark your can believe me, you'll hear about it because I'll start doing something with it here pretty quick. So don't go buying it yet. All right.
Yeah, Roberta, that is funny, considering you're allergic to them. That really is. There's a couple of really neat fabrics out there that have bees in them. One of them is, there's one coming up in um, November called Be Grateful. And that one is wonderful. It's a beautiful line. For Sarah Star, if you can't find it on the net, internet, let me know because that was a quilt along that we did on my YouTube channel. So you can also go to on my YouTube channel and just Google Sarah Star and you'll find it. Oh, Kim, that's fantastic. You're almost done with it. Yay! That is wonderful. You set a goal and you're doing it. That's what's important, right? You're getting it done. That's excellent. Won't be long and it'll be finished. And your daughter's gonna be so happy to have it. And you'll be happy that you've gotten it done. Two things will make you feel good. Bees are all over right now. They're in all different ones. Your Sarah Star is beautiful, Brenda. Brenda did her Sarah Star in um, a sports team's colors, right? Or was it Kentucky colors? can't remember if it was a sports team or Kentucky, but it's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. She, you know, that happened. Just think of what she's getting. Even if it's a late birthday present. Just think of what she's getting. She'll love it. All right, guys, I'm going to hang this up, and then you can see uh, what I got done today. I got one, two, three, four, five, six rows on. So I did pretty good. That makes me happy. So I'm going to hang it back up, and then I am going to run and see my mom and see how she's doing. Go spend the night over there and check on her. Go spend some time with my mom. I gotta get that shirt. There we go. So there, it's coming together. I'm happy with it. <laughs> Team, okay, I couldn't remember if it was if it was a team, so Kentucky Wildcat College team. Yay! <laughs> Mary, I don't think you're the only one that hasn't quite finished last year yet either. So no biggies. All right, ladies, I will see you guys. Um, it might be in two weeks because remember, I'm trying to go to Kentucky this week. Thank you for the prayers. Um, slowing down, Joe, it's not available yet, but it will be, okay? It's a brand new design, so it will be available s shortly. It's just not available yet, okay? I will give her a viral hug, okay? We'll see you guys all later. Thanks, guys, for joining me. Bye-bye.